Hello everyone, myself Dr. Eben and I am here to present a paper on Tamaragarbha Potali which is one of the most important uh, formulation in Ayurveda Shastra. So my work uh, involves uh, a description on uh, Potali Kalpanas and the method of preparation of Tamaragarbha Potali, the time to time events which have been recorded, observed and recorded and uh, some possible chemical reactions uh, and uh, some descriptions about Tamaragarbha Potali. So, uh, the Shastra is the science of herbs and minerals and the Potali Garpana is one among uh, important formulation method in uh, Rasa Shastra and uh, among Potali Garpanas, there are uh, three types of Potali Garpanas based on preparation methods and uh, Gandhagadravata Potali is taken into consideration here and Tamaragarbha Potali is one among Gandhagadravata Potali and they are very important uh, because they have a, uh, a potent therapeutic action and uh, uh, this work is supposed to be a guideline for the preparation of any type of Gandhagadravita Potali and uh, ingredients uh, I have taken the reference from Rasa Yoga Sagara for preparing the Tamaragarbha Potali and uh, there is a slight variation uh, because I have not added Gandhaga sorry uh, uh, Swarna which is um, gold uh, we are using uh, Swarna Tantu or a gold thread while preparing Potli Kalpanas as per the reference of uh, Rasa Yoga Sagras, Sagra and uh, it is not added here. Apart from that all the ingredients are taken and uh, it includes Tamrak Basma, uh, Samagana Parada Gandhaka Kajali, Shuddha Gandhaka Churna and the grinding medium is Kumari Swarasa or aloe vera juice. And uh, method of preparation, it is similar to uh, Hemagarpa Potli method, uh, which is described in uh, Rasamrata of Yadav Jitragamji Acharya, that is a Gandhagadravada method. And a similar reference is also uh, obtained while preparing uh, Rasagarpa Potli, and the reference is there in uh, Ras Shastra, uh, Book of Mercurial System. And uh, uh, it is written by, compiled by Dr. Uh, Himsagar Chandramurti ji. And uh, coming to the pre procedure, there are three. Uh, sorry, two uh, methods, pre-procedure uh, steps and uh, first one is uh, the molding of drug, molding of the parent drug. So the uh, drug uh, which is grinded with uh, aloe vera juice, it is uh, uh, grinded for 50 hours and uh, when it attains a wet like consistency, wet clay consistency, it is molded into the form of uh, in such a shape that uh, the apex is made into uh, a dome shape and uh, uh, the base is made into a flat uh, flat and uh, uh, base uh, which is similar to a shivalinga more or less like a shivalinga and this molded mass is then uh, dried in shade and uh, the dried portly is then wrapped in uh, a single layer of silk cloth white silk cloth and uh, tied in a glass rod and this is to be hanged uh, in a pot and uh, subjected to swedana or boiling in molded gandaga and uh, Second one is the preparation of uh, heating device. So, uh, as I told about the pot, uh, the, a mud pot is used, which is about 15 centimeter in uh, uh, length or height and 8 centimeter in uh, the diameter. And uh, to that, two by third uh, Gandhaka crystals are added. Two by third of the pot is filled with Gandhaka crystals, uh, which, which uh, is used as a medium. And uh, this is mounted on a Valuka Yantra, that is a sand apparatus, where uh, sand is used as the medium for heat transfer. And the entire group is uh, kept in a gas stove and fire is given. And a pyrometer is kept aside, uh, which is uh, just touching the uh, mid of the mid part, uh, middle portion of the mud pot, so that we can get the maximum accurate temperature. Next one is the procedure that is heating the uh, device and this gradual heat was given and once Gandhaka started melting uh, more and more uh, quantity of Gandhaka was added uh, so that the quantity will be sufficient enough to immerse the Gandhaka, uh, immerse the portally. And these are the time to time events. So we started by 9.35 uh, am and uh, the initial temperature was 38 degrees Celsius in the pyrometer probe, in the py pyrometer uh, reading. And uh, after one hour, it was for, uh, when the temperature reached 114 degrees Celsius, Gandhaga started melting. Then we added more and more quantity of Gandhaga. Uh, then uh, the temperature was gradually increased. Uh, when uh, it reached uh, 193 degrees Celsius, the portal was completely immersed in Gandhaga. Uh, so the uh, um, Gandhaga which we were added was sufficient. And uh, uh, then 
after 2 hours 35 minutes uh, we were keeping the temperature uh, within 200 degrees celsius for the first half period that is approximately uh, for 4 hours the total procedure was uh, more than 7 hours and uh, for first 4 hours we were keeping the temperature uh, within 200 degrees celsius then consistency of uh, melted gandaga became more thick after 2 hours and 35 minutes then after 6 hours 50 minutes um, the gandaga uh, started darkening and this darkening sign is uh, found to be the Parker Lakshana uh, of uh, Portaline. Then uh, we gradually increase the temperature a little more and then on reaching 290 degrees Celsius uh, by 7 hours the Gandhaga became blackish brown. Um, uh, so the according to classical reference Vyoma Varna is considered as the uh, sign or confirmatory sign for Portaline, one of the confirmatory sign for Portaline and uh, when uh, it reached 291 degrees Celsius uh, after 7 hours 8 minutes uh, we uh, uplifted the portly and uh, uh, the confirmatory test for portly as a practical test it is uh, it should give a metallic sound while tapping so we tap the portly with a steel spoon or steel rod and uh, uh, it gives uh, a metallic sound and uh, the portly was uh, then confirmed to attain uh, a proper paga so these are the, uh, some of the pictures. So initially, in 1.47 gram, uh, the parent drug was taken, uh, and the end product was 19.15 gram, and uh, the final uh, appearance of Gandaga. And the last picture, it is the method of administration of portly. It is to, uh, to be rubbed in a smooth stone. And uh, the main important uh, task uh, or challenge is the uh, is to maintain the temperature while preparing the portly. So, Gandaga is highly inflammable. So, we have to maintain temperature in such a way that the Gandaga should remain as molten in consistency and it should invade the portly. So, there are uh, the invasion of uh, portly or the ingredients of portly by uh, by Gandaga, the sulfur and uh, the, there must be uh, some oxidation reaction um, and uh, the product obtained uh, is uh, supposed to be a copper, mercury and sulphur complex. Of course, it should be given for uh, different physicochemical analysis like uh, XRD, XRF uh, and uh, particle size analysis and further, uh, further analysis are yet to be done but still it should be considered as a copper, mercury, sulphur complex and uh, the temperature uh, we have uh, we haven't raised the temperature beyond 200 in the first in the initial stage initial uh, half of the time uh, time period then uh, the particle size of the end product must be uh, very subtle because we were grinding the temp uh, the portly for a continuous of 50 hours and if we increase the grinding period the uh, more potent the drug and more subtle the particle size should be and uh, there was a lessening of 2.32 gram in the final product and uh, uh, this is administered with, uh, uh, of course, the anupana used is, uh, for Thamragarpa portly is uh, ginger juice, that is Arthavasarasa, honey or uh, any other suitable medium. And it's, it is uh, indicated for Kapha uh, Pradhana Pradosha Vyadis. And uh, the dose is uh, half to one rati, that is, uh, that is uh, approximately 62.5 milligram to 125 milligram. And uh, the dose is fixed by uh, the number of rotations, as I've shown you in the picture, the number of rotations. Uh, uh, control the dosage and the portly calpanas are very important because uh, they are molded in such a way that it carry a sufficient quantity a sufficient concentration of drug which is very subtle which has a very uh, rapid action rapid uh, therapeutic effect due to rapid absorption and distribution and uh, of course uh, the uh, based on the ingredients uh, tamragarpa portly uh, must have lekana srodha shodhana and rasayana guna so these are my references I express my sincere gratitude to Dr. Anandas, Associate Professor, Department of Rasa by Shuchya, uh, uh, Ground Diver of the College, Thiruvanthapuram, my teacher. Thank you.